Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've done this. So twisted top knot and curls at the front. Um, yeah, so keep on watching to find out how I've done it. The products I use today, I washed my hair and conditioned it. I used the Rebond same as the last couple of weeks. I then put in the Miracle Creator, which I love. Then I put in a little bit of the So Long Damage to smooth down my ends and at the front of my hair I put in a wee bit of the Volume Builder Mousse just to give me a wee bit more grip and a wee bit more hold. Then of course I used my heat buffer, the heat protector, and it has a wee bit of hold in it. And of course, hairspray. And that is the products I use. I use my big tongue, but any tongue really will do or won't, but anything you like the curl off will be perfect. Um, yeah, so keep watching to find out how I done it. So I have freshly washed hair, freshly coloured too. Um, what I'm going to do first is take a good section at the front for what I actually want to have down. So how I do that is kind of just bring my hair back and pull this down so you have sort of in my head how much I want down. So I'm kind of going to take that and take a triangle section. This is entirely up to yourself. I don't really like having too much. I like the look of having a load of hair down, but I don't really like having too much hair down just because it gets annoying after a while. So I think that is plenty for me. Yeah. Twist, twist, twist. Then, so with the leftover hair, I'm going to give it a good brush and we're going to pop it up in a very high ponytail. I kind of have where I think I want my bottle to be. I'm going to then get the little back oven brush from GHD and I'm going to just smooth it, make sure there's like no bumps. Um, smooth in the back. I probably have to put a few wee clips in the back. So we've got where we think we'll want our bun to start. Got our bobble. Our bun in our bobble. Now there's a few different ways to do this. If you want a really really big fat one, I would get your crimpers and I would crimp it so that it's going to make it a wee bit bigger for you. Um, I'm going to get my wee curvy grips at the ready. So I'm literally just twisting literally getting your hair and twisting it in quite a tight twist and then we're going to start to form the bun and the good thing about these is the messier and area the better yeah and i'm just going to pin the end in all right get it a wee bit more height there make sure my wee ends are tucked in and that is our bottom part done. What I'm going to do at the back, because I would have shorter hair at the back, I'm literally going to comb that up. Now this is where you can get really creative. I see there's a lot of really funky clips out there, like sliders. I have a few, but I haven't got any nice snazzy ones lately. But I'm just going to put a little clip there. Then we're going to take down the front section. But we've got our front section here. I'm going to turn on my tongs. Give this a brush. I'm going to grab my heat buffer because this will give me a wee bit of hold as well. Some heat protection. Yet again, number one um, rule I would say or tip is always, always heat protect your hair. Uh, I'm going to just sort of pull that apart and kind of let my hair part where it wants to part. Uh, this section here, I'm gonna take that in half and grab what's here. So tongs, and I'm gonna bring this away from my hair. So wrap it around, clamp it, and twist. Five, four, three, two, one, and then see it with this next bit of hair. So 
So your five, four, three, two, one, and release. And then we're going to do the same and point the tongue down and wrap. There's always one side harder than the other, so this is my harder side. So five, four, three, two, one. Same again. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Turn your tones off. Now, normally what I would do here, because normally I would do my hair first and then my makeup, so I would just wrap this up like so and pop a wee silver pin in it. And that would mean that I would get my makeup done and it would all be out of the way. But anyway. Just pretend we've done that. That would set it a wee bit more. So I'm gonna get my brush again. I'm literally just gonna push, brush that through. And you have your two curls. So you have your two curls down, and we have our bottom up. And what I'm gonna do next is spritz it with hairspray. And that's it so so handy and um, I actually love it I just think it's a wee bit funkier than one thanks for watching my tutorial today guys and um, don't forget if you like what you see don't forget to give me a wee thumbs up don't forget to give me a wee subscribe as well and um, if there's anything that you want to see me do or recreate pop it in the comments below and um, I'll leave all my social media jazz down below too so don't forget to give me a wee follow bye